Welcome to the message, breaking news, black love is dead. You heard it here first, romantic love between black men and black women is officially over. Interracial dating began in the 18th century with former President Thomas Jefferson and his girlfriend slash love slave slash slave Sally Hemings. It became widely popular in the 1980s when the NBA and NFL instituted a new policy stating all players must marry a white woman or see no endorsements. Black love experienced a resurgence in the late 80s due to the popularity of The Cosby Show. Oh, later peaked in the early 1990s with the O.J. Simpson verdict when white women across America decided to give dating black men a breather. Breath caught. Since that time, black love continued to suffer and decline due to the efforts of Robert De Niro, David Bowie, Mr. From the Color Purple. You're black, you're poor, you're ugly, you're a woman, you're nothing at all. Ike Turner is portrayed by Lawrence Fishburne in the film What's Love Got to Do With It and the 30-year experiment in misogyny known as hip-hop. By the time Robin Thicke released his video Lost Without You featuring his hot, super hot, ridiculously hot, gorgeous, sexy wife who's really hot, the odds of a black couple making it in this world were about the same as the odds of a black person surviving the waters of Hurricane Katrina. We'll be right back. Man, that is bleak. Yeah, man, what are we going to do? What's this weed business? I have an Asian girlfriend, just like everybody else. Hey, Diallo. Hey, Titania. Uh, the message isn't really set up to receive hate mail, so leave your hateful comments down below. The message.